Hello grade 10 learners, have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about theorem on two intersecting chords. The theorem on two intersecting chords states that if two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. So if we have here a circle, line segment AB intersects line segment CD, this line segment here, D intersect at point P. Remember, point P is not the center of the circle. So, if we're going to formulate an equation out of this theorem, then we can have AP from point A to point P, or the line segment AP times line segment PB is equal to line segment CP times line segment PD. So this is now the equivalent equation for this theorem. Now let's have an example number one as an application for theorem on intersecting chords. Find AL from the given figure below. So meaning to say we have to determine the length of line segment AL. So from the theorem, we can have line segment CA times line segment AL is equal to line segment PA times line segment AE. Now, by substitution, we have to substitute the value of each segment. CA is 12. So we have to substitute CA by 12 multiplied by AL. RPA, we have here 9. Then RAE is 4. So we have here 4. Now let's simplify by multiplying. So 12 times AL. So we have 12 AL. 9 times 4 is 36. Now to solve for the length of AL, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 12. So 12 AL divided by 12. That is AL already. And 36 divided by 12, that is equal to 3. So therefore, the length of line segment AL is equal to 3. 3 units. Example number 2. Find the length of the unknown segment represented by x from the given figure below. So in here, the unknown segment is represented by x. So we have to multiply 15 by this segment which is represented by x and that is equal to this segment which has a measure of 10 multiplied by the measure of this segment which is 24. So let's multiply. 15 times x is 15x. 10 times 24 is 240. To solve for x, divide both sides by 15. So 15x divided by 15, that is x. And 240 divided by 15, that is equal to 16. So it means that the value of x is equal to 
16. Now let's have example number 3. Find the length of each segment from the given figure below. So we have here a figure. Okay, this is line segment DO represented by X, line segment OC represented by X plus 4, line segment OB represented by X plus 1, and line segment OA. So in other words, we do not really have the exact value of each segment. So what are we going to do with this is we have to form an equation, applying theorem on intersecting chords. So we have x times x plus 4 is equal to x plus 2, this segment here, multiplied by x plus 1. Now let's simplify. So x times x, applying the distributive property of multiplication over addition, so we have x squared. x times 4 is 4x. That's why we have here 4x. In here, we will be applying the FOIL method since we are dealing with binomial multiplied by another binomial. So x times x is x squared. Then 2 times x is 2x plus x times 1 is x and 2x plus x is 3x. Then for the third term, we have 2 times 1, that is equal to 2. Again, for the first term, x times x is x squared. For the middle term, we have 2 times x is 2x plus x times 1, that is equal to x. And 2x plus x is equal to 3x. Okay, and for the third term, we have 2 times 1. We have here 2. If you have observed, we were able to arrive quadratic equation. So we have to group the quadratic term as well as the linear term. So just bring down x squared, this one, and this x square, positive x square, transpose, so it became negative x square. Then, 4x copy, positive 3x became negative 3x. So, I did not transpose positive 2. Since we will be forming a linear equation. Why? Because x squared minus x squared, that's already 0. So, we have 4x minus 3x, that is equal to x. And then, just copy or bring down 2. So, it means that the value of x is equal to 2. Okay? So, now... We have to determine the measurement of each segment. So, of course, for line segment DO, since it is represented by X, that is equal to 2. For OC, this one, represented by X plus 4, we will substitute X by 2. So we have 2 plus 4. So therefore, our line segment OC is equal to 6. So once we solve this, 2 times 6, that is equal to 12. The product also of AO and OB must be equal to 12. Now for OA, represented by X plus 2, now let's substitute X by 2 plus 2, so therefore OA is equal to 4. And last, for line segment OB represented by X plus 1, 
So we have to substitute again x by 2. So we have 2 plus 1, and that is equal to 3. So if we will be checking their product, so DO, this one, this is 2, and OC is 6, while OA is 4, and OB is 3. Okay, are they equal? So let's try to check. So 2 times 6, that is equal to 12. And 4 times 3, that is also equal to 12. So they are equal. So meaning to say our answer is correct. Because we were able to have an equal answer once we multiply the value of each segment. Okay? Thank you so much for watching guys. Can we like and if you have questions regarding the video, write it in the comment box. Can we share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson? Please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to one of the verses from the Bible. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Beholding the evil and the good. Proverbs 15 verse 4. That's all for today and God bless you all.